Hi, I'm Beth from My Tutoring Bee, and I have a very special guest with me today. This is my niece, Jillian. Hi. <laughs> and she's very excited to do a YouTube video. And we're going to play a game. And I wanted to show you guys how we can take a regular game and turn it into a math game. So we have some Jenga blocks here. So I've already set this up. Here, take a look at a couple of those. <clears throat> Let's see. So on these blocks, I have different math facts and I put them in different colors so that I could use specific types of math facts with my students. So if I have a student who is just learning their addition facts, then we use only the red facts because those are all addition facts. And the purple and blue facts are multiplication. What do you think you would want to do? Or, oh yeah, and then of course, I've got this, and you could use any kind of dice that you want, but this is just a 10-sided die that was blank, and I colored it in with the different colors. So it's kind of fun to just roll the dice and then let the die tell you what color you're gonna do. Do you wanna do it that way? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so we have to set up our Jenga tower, and then we'll get started. All right. All right, so now, do you know how to set these up? Yeah. Do three and three. Three and three, yep, that's right. And so it doesn't matter how you set them up because each block has all four colors on them. That, grab three at a time and then stack them up together. It's a quick, fast way. Here, I'll, I'll put them together and you, and you can put them on, on the tower. So the way that we play this game is we're going to pull a block, just like you do in normal Jenga, and then you have to solve the math problem that's on the side that if you're rolling the die, then you use that color that you rolled on the die, or if you are just focusing on specific facts, then you answer that one fact, and then you can place it up on the top of the tower. Nice. All right. Let's get it all straightened out here. So now, do you know the normal rules of Jenga? Yes. What you're allowed to do, what you're not allowed to do. Okay. For, for our viewers, we're going to, I'm going to recap them really quickly. So you can touch one block, or sorry, you can touch as many blocks with one finger as and just see which ones are loose so you can poke at them to see if they're loose. And then, but once you try to grab it or try to touch one with two fingers or more, then you have to take that block, okay? And then I also have just a little empty drawer here for the dice. It makes it really handy to roll so that the dice doesn't go flying everywhere. All right, are you ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead and choose your first block. We'll, we'll pull the block out first and then we'll roll. I'm going to do this one. Okay. Like I said, you can tap at them and see which ones are loose. There you go. Okay, so now roll. <laughs> what you get? Which one doesn't really count? It's on top. Was it like this? Yeah. Yeah, that's red. Okay. All right, so solve the red problem. Okay. 10 minus 4. 10 minus 4 is 6. Very good. Okay, now you can put it on top. Perfect. All right, my turn. Let's see. I'm going to go. Those are all real tight right there. There's one. That was a good one. Oh, Ooh. how is it wobbly already? It's because you went from the bottom. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. That's fit. Okay, I got purple. Okay. So purple has a missing factor in it. That's what makes them a little bit different than the blue. So we've got five times something equals 40. So I think that. I know what that. I know what okay, that well, is. I'm going to say my answer, and then you tell me if I'm right or not. I think it's eight. Yes. Got it? All right. 
There we go. All right, your turn. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, you pick good ones. Okay. okay. Go ahead and roll. Green. Green. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, 15 minus 5 is 10. Very good. Okay, put it on the top. And obviously you can do, you could make the the blocks have whatever kinds of math facts you want on them. I chose addition and subtraction and multiplication. So that's what I find that my students need the most help with, or at least just practice remembering them. Okay, I got blue. The two times six, that's 12. Am I right? Yeah. All right. Okay, your turn. Okay, let's see. Oh. Try something else. Maybe try on this. Oh, that one's loose. Here you go. Got this one. Okay. Okay. All right, roll. Let's see what you got. We need to be really careful. I know. It's already starting to get wobbly. Purple. Purple. Okay. Something times seven equals 35. Five. Very good. All right, place it on the top. Oh, I didn't put that right. Hey, you're good. Ooh, I'm sweating. <laughs> That's intense. something equals 80. That's eight. Did I get it? Yeah. All right. Okay. Your turn. Okay. Gotta be careful. No. Ooh, we haven't gotten this one yet. So no. here, let me show. She rolled this side. There we go. This side says U, and it has all of the colors. So that means when you roll that one, that means the other person gets to choose which color you solve. So I'm going to pick blue for you. So go ahead and pick your, okay. your piece, and then you have to solve the blue problem. Got a winner. Okay. All right, okay. find the blue one. There it is. Nine times seven equals eleven. You want a little trick? I forgot the what's, trick. What's ten times seven? Ten times seven is seventy. Okay, so now take away one group of seven from that. Seventy minus seven. Know the fingers trick? I forgot. The okay, finger. here, let me show you. Hold your fingers up. All right, so we're doing times seven, right? So we're starting here at the left and counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you put that finger down. So do that. Put that. Put so your, uh -huh. one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so put that one down. And now, how many fingers are over here on this side? Um. This side? Yeah, this side and your thumb. So, like, this is the Six. line. Uh huh. And then how many are over here on this side? 63. 63. You got it. Okay. We got Six lots of strategies. 63. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> it's intense. You're doing great. That's the cool thing about multiplication is that there's a lot of strategies because oh, everybody oh, forgets their multiplication facts sometimes. That one got a little stuck at the end there. I was nervous. Just blue. Uh, blue. I got a super easy one. What is four it? times one is four. <laughs> Your turn. I'm getting on the hard one. I know. That's okay. You got this. I like this guy. 
Ooh, good one. All right. I'm feeling a little risky. Yeah. Okay, let's roll. Red. Yes. Something equals 10 plus 7. That is 17. Great job. Amazing. Look, do you see how it's kind of leaning Ooh. over this way? Yikes. There you go. Thank you. Yeek. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Now we're stuck all of a sudden. It was loose. It, it's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. I know it might. Oh, oh no. What just happened? I had it. Oh no. I had it. No. 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 Jenga. Jenga. <laughs> All right. Did you have fun with that? Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for playing with me.